Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Elise. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you are not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am filming part two of the thrift store haul slash shop with me video that I told you guys that I would be doing. I'm gonna be styling all of the items that I picked up at the thrift store. If you have not watched that video, then I do recommend that you do go watch that one first before this one because then this one will make a whole lot more sense if you watch that one first. So anyways guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I style all the items. Of course, if you are interested in seeing then please keep watching all right guys so for the first outfit right here I am pairing this houndstooth very classy lady blazer I absolutely love it this was one of my picks that I got at the haul and I actually paid $2.50 for this blazer I think it is so cute now the only thing that I will say about this type of blazer slash jacket is these can look really grandma slash old lady ish if you are wearing them the wrong way so the way that I decided to pair it today was with a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans from fashion hova I mean Nova <laughs> And I love these jeans. To me, they are very form-fitting. I feel like when you are wearing a sort of dated piece, if you pair it with something that is more trendy and of the current time, that's where the whole outfit will kind of come together. So that's what I've done with these medium wash high-waisted jeans. I'm also pairing it with just a basic black bodysuit. And I am wearing a headband with it, which these headbands are so trendy right now. I picked up like a six-pack of these on Amazon for like 15 bucks. So I highly recommend that you guys check out Amazon for these little headband and I am pairing it with these little cute flats that I picked up from Primark so this is the first outfit I absolutely love it to me this is something that I would definitely wear like on a casual Friday for work very very work appropriate in my opinion because it's the right amount of casual with the jeans but at the same time it still gives you a little bit of professionalism right now I'm definitely channeling I don't know like a Stacy type of girl somebody who's very much into fashion has been to Paris a couple of times lives in New York right now this is how I would style this jacket because like I said any other thing that you would wear with this might make it look a little bit too dated this next outfit I also wanted to channel something very casual but adding a little touch of something else if that makes sense so I wanted to really accessorize it by adding this really pretty camel hat I just think it's a timeless piece and I just think it really jazzes up any look with a look like this I think accessories do matter I'm wearing this blazer which I also picked up at the thrift store for five dollars this is what it looks like it could absolutely look very 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 old lady ish you have to be very careful how you style these things quick tip if you want it to look a little bit more slouchy you can remove the shoulder pads but I actually do like the shoulder pads I think it just gives it that vintage look if you're not a fan obviously you could just cut a hole in here and rip the shoulder pads out there they're actually pretty easy to remove you can wear it like this which I absolutely think is a vibe but if you want to make it a little bit more sexy you can always throw the blazer off your shoulders like this I have my head tilted down because this hat is dying to fall off I have a little bun back here that is not holding this hat really well right now but honestly though I actually would love to wear something like this with my hair pinned up just because I feel like if your hair is down it might be a little bit too distracting Ooh, we got a bra strap showing but I absolutely love this look I think it is very cute very very trendy and it's very easy to put together this is just a mock neck sleeveless um, bodysuit and again my fashion over jeans with my little zapaticos which I can't even show you guys I'll show you guys in the close-up get ready to see me in this in the springtime many times okay I'm gonna be pressing that repeat button on this blazer in the springtime I know that for sure I cannot believe I snagged this up for only five dollars I feel like that's a robbery right there so this next outfit is going to be perfect for a girls night out this is definitely for the girl who's the Kim Kardashian of the group the trendy fashionista who really does not give a damn and who really just wants to show up and show out all the time I did pair the pinstripe blazer that I picked up for five dollars it has shoulder pads which I do appreciate because sometimes I do feel like I don't have enough shoulders which makes me look even more petite than I already am so I really like the shoulder pads on this one what I did was I rolled up the sleeves I paired this with a fanny pack and some biker shorts which I absolutely love this is definitely something that I would rock in the springtime because in the summer this might be a little bit too warm with all of the black it's just a little bit too much with the sun so I would definitely pair this on a spring day this is so 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 cute this is like the perfect outfit to go like for a brunch with your friends a nice cross between fancy and casual I did pair this with some clear mules which I got from boohoo these are definitely a staple for me my go-to I absolutely love wearing clear mules because if you guys don't know I'm only five feet tall and I don't have a whole lot of leg so I love tricking people into thinking that I have longer legs than I do and one of my favorite ways to do that is by wearing clear mules just because they really do help elongate the leg I love biker shorts because they're not as casual as a legging but they're also not super uncomfortable like a jean could be but at the same time it's trendy 
and it's definitely a showstopper without you trying too hard you know showing a little cleavage too if you are into that stuff if you are not then you can definitely wear like a little cami underneath it or something another thing that would be really really cute is wearing a bralette like a lace bralette would be really really cute under this as well I'm pairing actually a thin strap bodysuit with my little little blazer that I picked up at the thrift store. I got this one for five dollars and it's this really nice houndstooth print. To me this is definitely like the working lady type of blazer. If you want to close it up you absolutely can. You would just have to tie it. I think this is more of like a business casual type of look so that is what I am channeling with this look right here. I'm also pairing this with some wide leg pants and some really cute cross pointed toe pumps i think these are so cute and perfect for the office definitely a business casual type of girl we're going to name her rebecca rebecca's about her business she probably got about two kids she don't want no scrubs she's definitely a very serious type of lady she ain't the type to be going out that and bopping okay no not rebecca i paired this with a pearl type of choker necklace because i just feel like it added a little bit more of a touch a special touch you guys this is why you gotta hit up the thrift store because you find so many good deals for so freaking cheap and so for this next one i wanted to pair a little bit of classy with hood with street with you know fashion connoisseur fashionista so i hope you guys are catching the vibes i'm throwing at you i absolutely love this look actually this might be my favorite one because this actually is my favorite blazer out of all the ones that i picked up because this was the epitome of what i went to the thrift store looking for which was a really kind of like gentleman's looking petite fitting but at the same time still oversized type of blazer I also wanted this color this kind of like dark camel color so as you guys can see I'm pairing my oversized blazer with just a Levi t-shirt I'm wearing some mom jeans from forever 21 then I am wearing just some regular sandal heels so I absolutely love it I wanted to keep most of the attention on the top section with the blazer being the focal point another option if you want to go completely casual vintage is you replace the heels with some low top converse or some original adidas shoes that's what I had originally envisioned for this outfit some like converse sneakers but right before I decided to film it I changed my mind and I just went for the heel but if you want to make this a 100% street casual look I would for sure go for sneakers because you cannot walk for a long time in heels at least I can I am not that type of girl I know my weaknesses and one of them is walking in heels for a long period of time. I've been there, done that, don't want to do it again. The best part of all is I picked this blazer up, you guys, for $2.50. Like, oh my god, can you say steal? This is such a cute blazer. Alright, you guys, so that's going to complete this thrift store lookbook slash style guide. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, of course, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification bell so you never, ever, ever miss a beat. By the way, you guys, I'm going to really need a big thumbs up for this one because this is the second time that I filmed this video. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know this. So give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. That helps me out a lot. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.